What's going on guys? Eugene from Daily Shave and today this is my special guest. Say hi! 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 hi. <laughs> my little beautiful girl. We're gonna go to the park after this. So she'll be poppy, probably popping in another video most likely because she's with me today. Huh. Mm. Come on, go watch your blues clues. All right, so for today's highlight product will be from the Soap of the Gods from Von Ule. This is our barbershop aroma, El Barbero de Sevilla. So on initial impressions, like I'm getting spice and orange zest with patchouli. But the scent strength on this is actually about a seven, you know, a little over the, a little over the medium range. But one thing I do like about the soap too is that it has like these unique little star shapes inside the soap. And then upon touching it, it's very, very soft and pasty. So it's very, it's gonna be very easy to load into my Captain Choice bowl. Oh, she opened the door. Come on, go from there. Learning new things every day, everybody. And then we're gonna be finishing it up with the matching aftershave splash as well. But for today's tools, I do have a Simog war brush soaking in my stoneware bowl. So that's be nice and ready to go. We're going to be using the Icon X3 with a fresh Voscod blade. I haven't given Voscod uh, the love it deserves, so I thought I'd be just use it. And for today's prep, we'll also be the pre-shaved gel from the Artist Shaving. So, we'll go ahead, we'll wet the face and we'll get going. Stay tuned. Pre-shaved gel. Just a little bit. And just to save time, I already got the uh, lather going already. It's a tallow-based soap, so it's nice and creamy. No problems lathering whatsoever. So if you're tuning into my channel or you're brand new to wet shaving, whenever you're using you know, natural you know, hair brushes such as Badger or Boar, you can go ahead and run them underneath warm water and just use them right away. But me personally, I like to have it soak in a nice little bowl. So that way when I'm showering, the fibers, or the hairs, should I say, are nice and hydrated because they retain a lot more moisture than they do for synthetics. But we have a very great load. <clears throat> and this is a tallow-based soap, so it gives you that nice creamy yogurt texture, which is phenomenal. And man, the, the aroma just kicks in like up a notch. So I go to about an eight and it has like this nice fresh scent to it as well. Very, very clean barbershop aroma. Great load. A little bit of water. <clears throat> Excellent. <clears throat> The Icon X3 is a very smooth shaper. Not a lot of audible feedback, but it's really smooth. Let me tell you, the slickness on the soap is phenomenal as well. Like, it's very, very slick. Nice. And as always, I will have a link in the description with everything. All right, 
excellent first pass. We'll go ahead over the top, go for the uh, second. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday. Shortly after the shave, I'll be taking my daughter to the park. Have a little bit of fun because it's beautiful outside. I also had quite a few mail calls this week. Uh, I got decadence from the Holy Black, the soap and the splash. I haven't opened it yet, but I've smelt a little bit of it through the aftershave bottle and it smells wonderful. I mean, granted, you know, some people can't wrap their finger around the price, but I mean, the thought they put into the packaging, it was, it's amazing. So, but I won't be shaving with it just yet. Give it some time. I'm still, you know, breaking in the lavender creeper as well. So, in due time. I really like these Voskos blades. They're really, really smooth. I know this is Darren's, like, daily driver. But for me personally, I love my Asha greens. Excellent. Rinse out. We'll go for the final pass. Stay tuned. Really enjoying the shave, everybody. It's really, really great. <clears throat> yeah, um, when I picked up Decadence, I needed to be enrolled into the shaving shop club. I didn't know that at the time. So I just bought the regular basic gold membership. Because Decadence was available to all members. It wasn't a diamond exclusive or anything like that. <clears throat> Excellent. We'll rinse out. We'll go for the post. Stay nice. tuned. Alum block. Yes, Eric. I do not have that rubber band around my alum block. <laughs> hmm. Not that much feedback on the alum block, but it makes my fin my skin feel really good after a shave. All right. So we'll let that sit, and just a quick rundown of everything. We used the Soap of the Gods from Von Ule, their barbershop set. <clears throat> we used the Icon X3 with the Voss Cosplay. Very great razor, by the way. I also love the handle too, the OSS handle. Great, you know, grip knurling, and it has great heft to it, so it's really good. And a very smooth shaver. And then for our pre-shave, actually I forgot too, the Artist Shaving Pre-Shave Gel. And then we used our Samoke bore brush as well just to get the job done. And we lathered it up into the Captain's Choice Bowl. 
So we'll just go ahead, we'll just rinse out the rest of this excess alum and then we'll get with the post shave. And what I noticed when I read the label, it's um, non-alcoholic. It's a uh, witch hazel based, so we may not get a bite on the initial splash, but we'll see. Mm. No stinging whatsoever. But I gotta tell you, this aroma is phenomenal. Very clean, nice sharp finish. My skin feels great. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps up my daily shave. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.